Hey, my name is Andrew Au, Director of Operations for Digital Charlotte, and this is the Digital Charlotte Digest. Hey everyone, welcome back to Digital Charlotte Digest, the video series from Digital Charlotte where we talk about the week that was for us. Um, today I'll be talking about the week of May 11th through 15th, and uh, let's get started. So as everything is now virtual, we've uh, transitioned our on the ground programs into positioning ourselves to provide an online resource with our online office hours. These office hours are conducted through Zoom where we'd be able to have people join us either virtually through video or through a phone call to ask us any questions they might have on computer and internet basic skills. Unfortunately, although we've promoted it, we seem to not be getting too much traction and people joining us with questions. We honestly are unsure whether it is the time of day, the date itself, day of the week, or if there's just not too many questions regarding com basic computer and internet skills at the moment. So in lieu of that, we spent this week while on these online office hours, additionally discussing with our team uh, what we can do to better this offering, whether it was providing more times, providing more dates, providing more scheduled programming or, what, or whatever it may be. Um, in addition to understanding that other partners in the shot area are also providing similar, if not the same type of online resource help. So we spent this week just discussing back and forth and after some discussion and some ideation sessions through design thinking methodology, we landed on pivoting away from our online office hours, understanding that sometimes things in programs like this just aren't a great fit for what is needed now. And that sometimes we just need to pivot away, essentially fail fast and move and move even faster to the next thing. So as we discussed and went through all the different ideas that were on the table, we decided on helping support our partners who are running similar programming. What we realized is that bigger partners such as Goodwill here in Charlotte or the library, they're running tremendous programming. They're providing what virtual one-on-one -on -one tutoring. They're running programs and workshops similar to what we've run before, but doing it all virtually. And they have a bigger audience and a bigger reach and effectively more manpower to support the community members here in Charlotte. So we decided that we would pivot away from online office hours and pour most of our resources and attention from the online office hours into supporting our partners, finding out what they need and helping support them however we can, in addition to promoting all these program offerings that they have. Additionally, this week, we were able to continue our podcast production as we are turning interviews that we coast with our partner NDIA uh, from our podcast recordings into clips and episodes and and generally any piece of content that we know will be beneficial to anyone that is in the digital inclusion and digital divide space. And lastly, in our working relationship with Queens and specifically the Night School of Communication, the summer semester starts for Queens and all the students that are virtually in class during the summer. What this means for us is that we are now offering internship opportunities virtually to any student that might be interested in taking an online virtual internship with us during the summer semester. So moving from here, we are looking to continue to support our partners, produce more podcast episodes, and work with our interns for the summer semester. And that about wraps it up for us for the week of May 11th through 15th. For us at Digital Charlotte, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>